I think it burlesque is a great thing because it doesn't really treat women like objects. It's like it's a, it allows them to be sexy in their own way and not really be a staple of society. So yeah, you see beautiful women uh, not starving themselves to try to fit some kind of image. Nothing in Vancouver with a sexy, sensational burlesque dancer like Tristan oh, and the models that we know. accepting of a lot different body types and styles. It's a lot more playful. It doesn't take itself quite so seriously. It's uh, it's definitely like a subgenre, but it's just it's just hovering under the mainstream right now. And I'm seeing a lot of influences, um, like with Gwen Stefani and a lot of the old movies coming back, like the big Hollywood movies again. I'm seeing a lot of that coming back. <laughs> part of it. I see that that philanthropist, Paul Lorenz, and his committee are doing a wonderful work. He'll soon clean up this filth and educate the youngsters towards a better life. The joy out of life. Why don't they reform themselves and give us a chance to get a little innocent fun once in a while? I'm going over to Jane's house. They'll probably try to stop me from doing that pretty soon. that James is interested in this sort of entertainment. Oh, impetuous youth, Mother. He's like all the rest. Now, don't worry about him. He'll be all right. I hope so. The principal objection made by the commissioner was when Sheila Wayne removed her last bit of clothing and walked off smiling to the audience. You must have plenty of it. I wish I could do that instead of slaving in this office. I'll bet you could. You do have plenty of it. I think so? Say. I wonder if I couldn't be a striptease queen. What's she got that I haven't got? How do they do it? Zip. Off. Zip. See, what do you say we go and see her tonight? It'll be great fun. All right, let's plan it tonight. Oh, great. You can phone home and you're staying with friends. 